Let's activate the Window tool and open its Settings dialog. From the Basic Windows folder, select the Horizontal Multi-Sash Window. Open the Basic Window Settings, and from the General Settings pop-up, select the Shape Parameter panel. Here you can set the number of panes from 1 to 10. Let's set the number of panes at 5 for now. The panes configuration has two options, uniform or asymmetric. When selecting the asymmetric configuration, you can set the pane widths. Let's set 20 for the second pane now. As you can see, the last pane has 60 to keep the total width of the window. When we reduce the width of the window to 180, the width of the last pane turns back to 40. By checking the Multiply Unit checkbox, you can set the number of copies to have the desired multi-sash window. Now let's go to the Sash Options panel. Select Sash 2 from the pop-up and add the vent sash type. Please note, you can set different types of sashes for each pane. Let's select the vertical multi-sash window now, and from the General Settings pop-up, open the Shape parameter. As you can see, the same options are available as are for the horizontal windows. The number of panes can be set from 1 to 10, and you can multiply units as well. For example, in Sash Options, select Sash 3 and add Vent Sash to it. You can see the result in the preview picture. Please note, to create a window with more than 10 sashes, repeat the basic unit of sashes as needed.